Hi, I'm Scott Houston. I wanted to take you on a quick tour of our online lesson environment. From the main page, you'll always find a sign up button or sign in button, and you'll have your credentials, email, and a password once you've uh, paid the tuition for one of the courses. So you get yourself logged in, and that brings you then to our main environment page, our lesson environment page here. Uh, just a quick navigation if you ever you know, want to jump back out, there's a sign out button right here, and that'll take you back. So we'll hop back in here again. Now from this page, uh, in this panel right here in the left-hand column, you'll see My Courses. And what will be listed here are whatever courses you have paid the tuition for currently. So in this case, this student has paid for Course 1. Uh, they have not paid the tuition for Course 2, which is why it is available down, or showing up down here as one of the available courses. Now, right now, there are only two available. Course 3 will be up very, very soon. We'll eventually be getting through Course 6 um, as we complete the online portion of our method. The method is completed through six courses, um, and we are actively working to get all six up and available. But we'll stay ahead of students as we need to at this point. Now what happens in the center column here is this is where the system keeps track of, of kind of where you are. And the way we divide things, each course that you pay a tuition for, and again, you pay one time no matter how long it takes you to complete the course, each course has what we call eight classes in it. And then within each class, you have multiple lessons and exercises, and I'll show you that as we jump in. So for this student, they're just beginning, and this is class one is the current class. As a student completes a full class and works through all the lessons and exercises in that class, that will then shift to a, a column that will say completed classes, and the, whatever one they're in will be current, and then the, the ones to follow still stay in this upcoming classes column. So the long and short of it is that the system will keep track of where you are and work your way through the classes as you complete each course. So let's go ahead and jump into this and take a look at what the actual environment looks like. Now when you first jump in, uh, this is uh, one of the, you know, one of the courses, and this is the beginning. Uh, Let's start playing is the name of the first lesson. Now, under this menu up here in the left-hand corner, this is where you can uh, navigate throughout the different lessons and exercises within one class. So again, um, we're in course one, class one, and then within this class, you'll see we have four total lessons and three exercises. Now, each one jumps back and forth exactly like this. I will teach a particular topic, a particular nugget, kind of irregardless of how long it may take you to get that under hand, which is something I think is a very important point we describe uh, out on the, the opening pages. Uh, but whatever it is, there will be a lesson, and then there will be a quick confirming exercise. Now, sometimes those exercises might only take you you know, a couple seconds to get through, and other times it might take you a couple days or a couple weeks. And that's fine, and it's the beauty of this system is that, that you can move forward at your pace when you need to do it. So let's just jump in, for example. Let's say I've seen these first two, and I want to jump in at lesson two. There's a funny look on my face. And so this is typically what it looks like, and uh, I'll be teaching something. There will be some hand shots. Now, if there are ever any resources available, things that you need to have along with the lesson that will help you with whatever I'm discussing, they're made available under this Resources button. So you click that. There are some cases where there are not any resources that were needed for a particular lesson, but whenever they are, they're listed here. Now, in this case, um, there is a PDF of one of the lesson book pages, and that's because something I want to emphasize, at the very beginning, uh, the first three classes of, of course one when you buy when you buy the tuition for the new course we will give you everything you need in this case it's actually a PDF I'll go ahead and click on that it's just a PDF of the page in the book that I'm discussing in that lesson and we'll give that to you because you might be waiting the four or five days until your actual hard copy books get to you in the mail so if you're excited about getting started right away we give you the resources that you need to do that uh, you know again within four or five days usually, you'll have those books in hand, as, however. So jumping back to it, it just works through, uh, you work through a lesson at the end of each lesson then, what will happen automatically, and I'll force this so we don't have to sit and watch this and spend the time, after this lesson, it would then go to an exercise. And this is what the exercise environment looks like. I will have just described, uh, just at the end of the previous lesson, you know, what it is I'd like you to do. 
and then we talk about what the objectives are over here. You get any graphics that you need to help you with the exercise, and again, a, a written description of what I've asked you to do. Best, you'll also see a video of me actually doing the exercise to give you a terrific hands-on look at exactly what it is I would need you to do. So if there's something you need to see um, and, and you know, watch and physically see how I do it on a keyboard, you'll see it in that video. Uh, that, I think, is really a key play. If you need to replay it, it'll just you know, keep going over and over that way. Um, and whenever you're done with a particular exercise, and no matter how many times you've needed to see it or if you needed to watch my hands again, whatever it is, you then just move on and move on to the next lesson. So, again, basically we have navigation here, working through where you are in the, in the classes, and they'll actually move on for you automatically if you don't want to jump around. And then in addition, you have resources if needed uh, for any any uh, of the lessons or the exercises. So we really think the combination of the the video and the books and the resources that we give you and the written objectives are really a combination that are that are hard to beat. So I hope you like the uh, the look and feel of the classroom environment, and even better, I hope that uh, that you decide to. Knock this lifelong dream off your list and, and take some lessons from me, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in a class soon.